Welcome guys. Now, this is Noisegate Media, of course, my name is Anisetius, and I'll be taking you through this very short tutorial. Quickly, now, how do you get your addictive drums to onto your Fruity Loops? Now, quickly, I'll just show you this, how to do this. Fruity Loops 12 opens up. And then, of course, you know Addictive Drums is a plugin, so you want to have that sample into your Fruity Loops where uh, you are able to control and manipulate the plugin that's the addictive drums too inside your fruity loops of course this tempo here controls everything from it now this is how to pick it up as a plugin you go to your ad now in most plugins in most fruity loops like 11 and less you can come here and then uh, simply by going to add while you click here you find out you can find it here in your plugin list but the case is not so with this very Fruity Loops 12, the one I have on my own system. So what you do is, first and first, go to Refresh Plugin List. One of the reasons for you not finding it here might be because you installed your plugins as the additive drums way after you must have installed your Fruity Loops. So what you do is to Refresh Plugin List, and by doing this, what happens basically is that your Fruity Loops start to recognize and see the VST plugin um, Addictive Drums too. Now it comes up and then you say OK. OK, so it updates the list because you have refreshed it. Now it is a VST plugin. You might not necessarily find it here too in your plugin list. So what you just do, go to your um, installed list here and then you can find it. You see don't go to the effect because your additive drums is not an effect rather you want it to function as a generator so you come under here find it under vst you click and then you look for addictive drums too and here is it so you pick it up it's a channel so you just drop on your step sequencer here in fruity loops and then it comes up you just be patient while loading plugin additive drums to 64 bit so uh, let's say in few seconds this should come up and then we manipulate that um, talking about how to use it effectively inside Fruity Loops. Now, I'm not going to be taking you through how to navigate around Additive Drums 2 as a standalone, but for the sake of this um, tutorial, I will, we'll just dive straight into how to get it onto Fruity Loops. Now, this is bit come here click on bit for example this is the bit you want let's just look for any bit something very interesting let's say we have a funk oh I love rock heavy rock bit 001 for example this is what you want click to check Woo! <laughs> this is very interesting now of course I love the bit now what you need to do to get this very uh, bit just pick it up from here and then you drag onto the step sequencer here you drop now having done this you can come back to your um, sample click can just close it so you you can open up here and realize that what you have in that very plugin is here on your system of course still playing the very tones but this time around you can manipulate by using the tempo to control like for example uh, let me just play first so you can see okay. one is slower so okay. Okay. Faster. now of course you can manipulate you can come here say you don't want this kick here shift or you don't want this very um, snare over here you can decide to you know work on it of course you have a very amazing way to produce uh, to produce the song the very song you want and that's gonna be all for today especially on this post using additive drums too in your footy loose being able to manipulate it the way you want thank you for being part of this post uh, if you like this video, please do subscribe to this channel because more interesting videos and enlightening videos are coming your way.